when you put the tape in the field, give God some praise. Yeah. We are a Jesus Christ only church. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Help me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. If you don't like it, then you need to go find you another place to go to hell. Amen. But if you listen to me, you'll never get to hell. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't even see it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let's give God another hand for Friday night. God does not like disobedience. Amen. Amen. Why do people be so hard to hear? Now, just, I'm just use this in a movie. If a man want to see a woman and want to have dinner with her, and she said, I see you Friday night at 7, I guarantee you, he, he's going to miss that. He's going to get that straight. Because he's going to expect something inside dinner. Ain't he? Mm -hmm. Let me talk to his preacher. Let me talk to his preacher. Mm -hmm. See, that's what God led me to do. I preach. I looked at the mouth. I told my church, look back. Mm -hmm. We found out the Bible said we don't need to look back no way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Give God some amen. <laughs> Thank you all for all you do. Thank Colin. We appreciate you coming in. Yeah. See, people, they don't like Bob, and, and I want you not to like it. Yeah. I want you not to like it. The results of, of my daughter's not running off like yours mm -hmm. is is because of God's position. Yeah. You see the results of it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see him run his first time. I see him run, I say, boy, get that boy in mind. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. As they grow up, they'll be a little more challenging, but if you follow what I'm telling you, yeah. how can God can God clean up? Yeah. Hmm? You can't lie. And even if, if, the, if the situation, when I do what's required of me, then I don't stand around and say, well, maybe I should have. No, I've done what God said to me. Hmm? See, I don't have to second guess, second think. Well, maybe, I, no, no, I went the way God told me to go. Hmm? And then if the chip fall for the may, God got a way to deal with you, man. Yeah. I'm just telling you. But he's always Jehovah Shammah here. He, God is always present here. Yeah. Give God some praise. Yeah. 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 We're going to look at, we're not going to, we never desecrated God in any kind of way. Because <clears throat> there's certain things that God always wanted us to deal with. Mm -hmm. We start here that God wanted us to keep the Passover. Because that's a duel. Thank you, Lord. Because we find out in First Corinthians 5 and 7 that Jesus Christ is our Passover. Amen. Amen. So it's a dual thing on certain things that God said in Israel for us too. Amen. 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 But Israel can't get there without us. That's no right. more we can get there without Israel. Right. Come on, give God some answers. <laughs> the atmosphere, you know, we you know, anywhere that, that I preach that the atmosphere is not charged with unbelief. No. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That, that the atmosphere is going to be charged with, I can do all things. Get strength in me. We don't just label, you know, yes, we know that I can get this. Amen. Thank you got Lord. to repent. Amen. If you're not God the sorrow, okay, how many times you raise your hand with these fools? Faggots all in the place. Wow. Hmm? People know they faggots. And they scared to say something about it because they think they ain't gonna call them no more. Well, I want the faggots to call them. Amen. Tell them, give them my normal. Amen. 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 Make them mad to you. Here we go. Maybe they make you mad enough, then maybe they'll hold up to God. Amen. amen. Give God some amen. 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 The of great honor. We, we do our we labor in the doctrine, the gospel with you. And I do a lot of reading and researching and stuff, not talking to other preachers. Like 
I don't do it. He called me. See, they didn't call me, so I don't want to talk to him. Hmm? I don't want to talk to him. I know what God done for me. Hmm? I was bumming with someone. They got to walk in light. I told you about three in the morning. Hmm? Walk in the light that you have received. Because mm -hmm. this talk about church, so don't mean you're going to receive. That's right. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's look over here in the book of Luke 24. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your support, all your singers, yeah. musicians. Give the musicians yeah. another hand. Yeah. And, and when someone you know, done things for you that only nobody else can do, yeah. you always know God praise for all the yeah. voices by nature because that's where God bless you. As I heard Brother Williams say, that's all they did with the property. They always doing things for me. But they have a problem they have to go to my school. I didn't call you. No, you did so much. That's your business. Mm -hmm. I'm able to come. I'm 72. I'm on 73. Mm -hmm. But I don't have no pains and aches. If I do, God take care of me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You don't want to be telling me that my daughter got cancer. I said, well, let's believe God for it. I listen to me. I do honor God for it. The way he's done it is the way he made it. You believe God was the whole shaman in there. You believe he was shaman. God said he can do more. He can make things disappear. They wasn't there when you were born. God can make them get away. I don't care what the situation is. Woman got a uterus, take out God, put a baby up now. Huh? Wait a minute. You think that's something? What about a woman that never had a man and she pregnant? Huh? So who do you think God is? If it ain't that, he can create it. As long as a man has never got his prostate taken out, he still got sperm. That word. So that's where we get the word from. That's where we get it from sperm. The word. Hmm? That means because why? Because God put that in there and nobody can take it from him. Hmm? Nobody. As long as he got that prostate, I don't care if he's 5,000 years old. Are you listening? <laughs> but the woman that is, because God. Do something different, amen. amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. And God can hold it back and let it go. Amen. Whenever He wants to. Amen. He can create. All you got to do is speak the word. Give us some Luke 24, verse number 6. You see that? Amen. Thank you. Amen. We just owe God so much. Oh, hallelujah. We owe Him so much. Amen. You know, I was thinking about Sister Evans and our mother. My mother, I, I was treated the worst mm -hmm. of all my sisters and brothers, and I was always never ever cheer something my mother got. Never, ever. Thank you, Lord. You did, I don't know nothing about it. The people that knew her, Chris looked almost identical like her. Built the light, <coughs> built a whole lot of her. She got up in the church, and that boy never gave her no problem. She's not to worry about me. Sometimes me and my brother, I'll be talking. We live in the neighborhood. I just like you. It was three houses or eight houses to left by you. Mm -hmm. And ten folks of mine say left by him. <coughs> and one more house. I can visit people. Mm -hmm. All my mom had to do is come out the door and follow my name one time. I'm at home. Right. Because I know not to go out of home. Because when you're concerned, it's not how bad your parents are. Mm -hmm. It's how you appreciate them for what they brought to you. Mm -hmm. Could have let your sorrow for it die. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You gonna get up and curse them out? Mm -hmm. Talk down to them? Mm -hmm. I don't care what your parents do, you have no reason to go them down. Amen. Amen. The Bible says you should honor them. Amen. Amen. There was many people all day that keep telling me all kinds of stuff about their son and daughter did this, break this family up to all. If your daughter or your son break your family up, they didn't give a damn about, about you. <laughs> I've talked to 
people, they, 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 their own daughters and sons have to go home and, and beat the mama up, beat the daddy, kill them. So we look here at great things. And what I was quick to say, you know, my mother, I'm called God raised me up so he could save her. Amen. And she met her. She wasn't like some of these people. She didn't have a twisted spirit. Amen. She wasn't one way today and tomorrow you meet her. She's just like, yep, I'm just saying. They do a lot of stuff, but they 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 fix it there. Mm -hmm. hmm? God says here, he is not here, mm -hmm. but he is risen. Mm -hmm. Luke 24, 6. Mm -hmm. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk on the subject, he is risen. He's not here, but, but is risen. He is not here, but is risen. He is not here. Because, see, they expected something. You can't live your life without expectation. Now, there's plenty of people who want to do it their way. But I'm telling you right now, you might think you're getting away and you might talk about blessing. But when you do not follow the word of the man of God, you are, you'll see, I might not live, but God work on that. Hmm? And God can extract things out of you that mama, nobody can help you. Because if God is against you, who's going to get you? Amen. But so we're looking here and we're choosing for each other. He is not here. But it's risen. They're looking for him. Hmm? They thought he was there. But he's not there. But look what he said. He's risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee? See, when, listen, when you go to this empress tomb, Muhammad is still there. Amen. Confucius, Amen. Joseph Smith, Amen. all of the idiots, Amen. they go there and they rub their tomb. Amen. They can't rub these. Amen. Hmm? Amen. That, is the, that is the foundation of our of me. Amen. Because if he didn't rise, then he just like in other life. Amen. See, Muhammad never said. See, Muhammad looking for somebody. Right. Jesus made the statement in John 1 uh, uh, in, in 29. He said, he said, destroy this temple. Yeah. I mean, 2 and 29, 19. Uh, uh, he said, destroy this temple in three days. I don't like so many confusing people. Yeah. Hey, gonna, this took take four to six years. Right. And he's going to tell me, he said, I know you're a crook now. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. See, he began to pronounce it. He began to pronounce who he was, what he's going to do. Hmm? So we see here, look what he go back up there. This is now on the first day of the week. First verse. Very early in the morning, they came to the supper call. Bringing the spice which they had prepared and certain others with them. The women was coming because what you do, you got high sides. The people all the blue, we well man, you got that. Oh, listen to me. They don't they they they, they argue about what 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 25th ain't Jesus. Ain't nobody in the world said that. Exactly. You can't even go get a monkey and tell you that Jesus born on this one twenty fifth. We under this as a Christian nation. Amen. Nobody said this people like General Denson, they just beat it up. Jesus wasn't born on 20, but how do you know? Right. You didn't know when you were born, you little bald head bee pickle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. But we are not going to argue about that. Right. But why do you argue about the resurrection then? Mm -hmm. hmm? But it said the first day of the week, and we know the first day of the week is always. Sunday. Hmm? We know that. And see, when you get here in the Bible and you look at it, start, it didn't just start here. See, it started all the way back in Genesis. It started all the way back. Let's 
Look at Exodus 12, 12. And you'll find out right there that my God, there was a Passover lamb. The blood had to be shed right there. It started back there. It didn't start there. That Jesus was talking about it. As a matter of fact, it's when he came and was talking to them himself here in, in Luke 24, he began to talk about, he refers to talking about himself all up from the Genesis all the way up and talked about himself. He wasn't talking about Jesus physically, but he was talking about Christ because he's anointed to give God some amen. Amen. It started with the past. There had to be some blood shining. Hmm? There had to be some blood to begin to talk about it right there. All the way back to Genesis 3 and 15. Yes. That, that the serpent, how he going to bruise the, 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 his head and, and he going to bruise his heel. Are you listening to me? Amen. All the way back, we begin to see God walk and step in the scripture that we got a very rich history. We got something that this is nobody can reject. Nobody can refute this body. Not one yet. It done gobbled up many people that try to discard it. Even the Muslim use it. Even the Mormon use it. Hmm? But they go on the wrong way because Jesus is not the way with them. He is a way with them. Give God some name. I'm going to steal your soul to do something. Here I am. I never know nothing about God. But I know this, and maybe you can, you know, think about your own self, that when I was a little boy, I don't know how old I were, but I know that we, we was talking one day, and these guys, they said, look, a uh, 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 man, Jesus, they killed Jesus. And I didn't, I didn't understand the situation. I, I can remember it, though. And I said, well, if I was down here, because I didn't know why they killed him. We've been talking about it. I didn't know why he died. We were just little boys, you know, just talking about it. Just trying to find out what was going on. But that stuck with me. I said, I would have helped him. But, you know, it, it, it took me a lot, a lot of years before God revealed it to me. You understand what I'm saying? But look at us now. Look at you. You here because we believe. Things that's impossible. Oh, that God healed you. God took you here. God has put Himself in you. All the fine things that you did, some baby girls come around with, with the temple. Simple by get a kill. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Family ain't about two cents. Ain't got no stand. If you had to stand, just stand a little bit. Let me just tell you something. I go to first church. Couple was not strong. Trying to screw me around, but I had not like these brothers here. Just weakly washing, proper, proper. Just I mean, stand. Grab right hold to it like a like a bulldog. Grab right hold to a bad piece of meat, brother. Hmm? But these people, what they do? They don't just. I ain't got nobody to help me. All kind of fools and stuff. If I'm gonna be here, my wife don't have to listen to that. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you. She ain't gonna tell me to get the oil. I'ma have the oil. Hmm? If I'm gonna be the head, then I need to represent it. Especially when it comes to come, come God, the spiritual, the, the, the spiritual God, the one who told me out there. Hmm? I ain't the head called do it my way. I'm the head called do it God's way. So God says, here's God's way. My wife will never see weakness in me. Hmm? She'll never see weakness in me. Oh, we can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, I don't care if he's killing me. I ain't gonna tell her nothing. Just you keep moving. Keep moving. When I'm sick, I'll be sick to you. We're gonna take you to the hospital. Keep on going on the night. I'm gonna be praying to God. Huh? They all rely on me. Who am I to tell them they can pray? Hmm? That believe God because the atmosphere in our house is prime time. Give God to me. Pray to the living God. He's not here. He's not in a lot of these places. Huh? Huh? He's not there. They want to be 
you came in there and didn't land with it. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. See, we don't have to say nothing when people come here. They say, what's happening here? Y'all here? Huh? It's some, hey, they been to church buildings. Hmm? They got one of them old long nose preachers. No wonder you can't preach no kind. Hmm? How did they go out? What's wrong with him? He said, get them all, let's pray for him. Hmm? Get them all, let's pray for him. Get them all, let's pray for him. How can he go out? I'm trying to close now. They take it, throw his robe on him, and, and try to hold him like he's a finger hold Jesus. They want to take Jesus, not throw a robe on him. They come with the apostle brother, the apostle Peter shut up. They want to take him because the Bible said, without the shedding of blood, Hebrews 9 and 22, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. You look at Hebrew 10 1 says the shadow of good things to come. But we got better stuff. Come Jesus Christ. He's not an animal, praise God. He gave his life. The animal didn't have no choice. Give God some right now. See the blood still Before God got hold to me, I would say, boy, Jesus had to take his blood and give it to God. But we find out in Hebrews 9, right the way you are, about the 24 verse, that himself, printed himself, yeah, that's what God, because he go to Psalm 40, in verse number 6, he said, with such a uh, burnt offering and sacrifice, God would have, he'd have no pleasure in him, do you have to God, he said, prepare me a body, because God needs Jesus sitting there. Not God, he needs somebody. He needs But my God, let me tell you, I've been running. I love Africa because she never runs out like us. Them brothers do not run out the women because they're more feminine oriented. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I deal with them. They, they run after, they, they all will be blown to something so they can get a connection. Amen? Because they're feminine oriented. Give God some amen. Come on, give God a good when I see this brother bring them to him up, hmm? bring him up, teach him. They want to come to church. They want to come to church. Amen. Amen. Huh? We couldn't come to church. They want to go to church. We're going to church. We're going to church. On Tuesday night, they come to church. Mama, we're going to church. They start getting their stuff back. Hmm? Start getting their stuff back. These brothers don't know nothing else. Been in one church, they church hopping. Amen. Amen. Now you go, because all you got every one of the person right there, just whores and pimps. Go follow them. Follow everyone. If they're not sinning, I'll eat this Bible page by page. Hmm? I'll eat it. You know them. Your children. Your children, you know it. You know them telling the truth. Hmm? No, I'm telling the truth. Hmm? What do you mean? With him? Are you listening? <laughs> huh? I gotta get away from him. Oh, you gonna find something wrong with him like they find something wrong with Jesus? You can lie, you can tell everything you want to, but that's not gonna change your condition. That's not gonna change your condition. Hmm? You didn't have justified themselves before men. But are you justified before God? Give God some amen. Huh? Come on, give God some amen. Let hmm? me hear. Thank you, Lord. Now, here the people are looking because we already read down here is something he said. And Lord, I'm so glad that God did something. You know, I'm going with the first church. <clears throat> And they didn't preach about Easter. That. I mean, they never said, no, that was wrong. But they never said nothing about Christmas tree. But I can tell you right now, God can't let me know about it. Amen. Are you listening to me? Because mm -hmm. see, one thing about my former pastor, he, he might give me some change. 
But brother, you don't get done. God don't change you. Huh? The Bible says he's the same yesterday. Hmm? How long? Well, you ever seen him ever come to an end? No. Okay. <laughs> Amen. It ain't coming to an end. Huh? You can't change who Jesus Christ is. Hmm? He done it all. He paid it for it. Come on, good God. Come on, He's a desecrated, poor, straight, feminist. Hmm? Right now, how it is. But we don't want to our church this thing. Now, this is Easter Sunday. Wow. Easter shouldn't even be in the Bible. Amen. It should be Passover. Amen. Hmm? Acts 12 and 4 is the only place you'll find it. Hmm? And why was it there? They said it was a paganistic thing from uh -huh. the beginning. Yeah. They, the reason they would not kill Peter because they said Easter because they put it in there, but it's Passover. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Should never been in it. But even that, we can take Easter, we can spell it and make, they can desecrate it, but we can spell Easter, we can say E, meaning Emmanuel. Hey. Huh? Oh, you oh. Just, hey. We can say A, meaning a, a, anointed. Amen? Oh. Oh. Yes, amen. We can say it. We can mean hey. He can mean he the tongue of hey. He can he the tongue of hey. hey. Straight somewhere else. Amen. You're not helping me. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, because we get into logistics of it. Yeah. You get into logistics. You might you might read better than me, but you don't have no anointing. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Actually, if I if I glean through this old testament, they didn't have air condition yeah. or nothing. And God said, priest, you could not allow it to sweat. Amen. Hmm? Now, they'd kill most of them, wouldn't they? Because he is labor to them. It's hard with being African. Ain't nothing to steal over each way. Because I compare myself to go and keep standing for that. Are you listening? See, when we see the glory, hmm? the brother said, Man, we're not hungry now. I didn't touch it. But it was on me. I said, Come here, baby girl. Fell back. Something happened. I didn't bring him from home, he came from heaven. Come on, give God some praise. God will change your story. Hmm? God will change your story. And you will not be able to keep your mouth shut. Because you have, as my daughter said, I got a story to tell. I got a story to tell. So this brother been witness to them crazy folk. Oh, you listen to me. The girl, I don't know what y'all been to, but look, she's talking to him. She said, wait a minute, she's telling him stuff. Well, he already know. But then that gives us some more confirmation. <laughs> See, a lot of people want it, but they want something else too. Huh? Hold on here. This is 100%. This is 100% B. Huh? So you want some stuff mixed with it? No. This do you 100% pure holding the gift God to you. 100% pure. See, she wants some problems with beef, or, or, or she wants a little bit, well, you know, I would, but, you know, I got to give up my stuff, let me lay the hand up. So I said, hey, baby, let's let you button it up. I only know the woman, you know, I was trying to button it up. My finger was so, I couldn't get it. And I, I said, come over here again. She said, oh, I can do it myself. Well, I, mean, I guarantee she thought about that for a while. And all the people don't tell her that, see. She goes, oh, they be looking at us. What you got off in there? I'm looking at it. 
She'd have looked in another and they changed nothing.